Okay, guys, I am back with another early unboxing. Well, technically not unboxing. This is going to be a review on the DVD version of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, yes, I do own this movie on Blu-ray, but that did not belong to me. It belongs to my brother. I found this at a pawn shop. I was supposed to pay a dollar on it, but the worker told me 50 cents. So I paid 50 cents for this movie. Um, yes, here's the front, the side, the back, um, and here is the disc. Um, sadly, no digital code. Um, to be honest, I really don't care if it didn't include the digital code. I mean, you can tell, like, the red, the label says DVD plus digital. So, yeah, um, this movie is great. Um, I seen this movie, like, two days after it was released on Blu-ray, I thought, on Blu-ray and DVD five years ago, um, yes, um, don't get me wrong, um, Spider-Man is a great character, he's been around since 1962, um, Miles, he's been around since 2011, Gwen, Spider-Gwen, she's been around since, like, 2015, and then after that we got another Gwen, uh, from another universe called Gwenpool. She's like Deadpool, but she her outfit is just recolored, like Barbie colors, like pink and white. Um, Spiderman Award, who is played by, you guessed it, Ghost Rider himself, Spider Ham, Penny Parker. Also, yes, fun fact. She's played by, um, Kimiko Glenn. You know, the, the actress who did the voice of Issy from My Little Pony. Bridget from, um, Close Enough. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, Nifty from Haspen Hotel. And that's, like, the only three characters I know she played. And I totally forgot Jake Johnson um, played Peter Parker. But, yes, Jack Quaid, yep, from The Boys, uh, he played Peter Parker from another universe. So, yeah, um, this uh, review is going to get 100 out of 100. I'm sorry if I made this video, like, this review thingy, whatever you call it now, uh, three minutes, I'm truly sorry, anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, now, the real unboxing begins, so yes, I know I did a Walmart unboxing on the 13th of last month, and yes, I bought this a few days ago, I thought, I could buy this because, well, I actually had this planned for a week now. Well, actually, two weeks, actually. But don't worry, there's... I got two more unboxings of August to do, and then we will get to September's. Which, this is only for September's unboxing. <clears throat> and here it is! It is the Homer Simpson plush. Um, I bought this on Walmart's, um... from a different account, 
wow! Look at this! And here's the tag. Um, yes, it's made by Jack's Pacific, which I mentioned this about twice. And yes, this is called the this plastic part right here. It's called Roto Head. Um, glad I got this in my collection. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody said this reminds them of the uh, Burger King plushies that Burger King had years ago in the 90s. Which, again, I was not there from that time because I was born a decade later in 2002. So yeah, um, let's take the tag off and then review it in three, two, one. Okay, guys, here's the tag. There's the character's head. I think it's Marge, the baby. Uh, I think it was Maggie, like, like, Okay, guys, here's the tag. There's Lisa, Bart, Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E, Homer, and Marge. Um, so yeah, I got Homer because, um, why not? Anyway, guys, um, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys, I am back with another... WWE Mattel Knuckle Crunchers uh, unboxing. Yes, this is my third Knuckle Cruncher figurine. Um, yes, we already look at Seth freaking Rollins and John Cena. Now we're taking a look at Roman Reigns because, well, yep, he is back. And I know I said no spo spoilers I said the other day, but anywho, a lot of people watched it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it come out in the package in three, two, one. Okay, so I use a pair of scissors to cut the, the um, little thing right here. So we got to get the Kendo sticks stand out. So be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what they look like. So Okay. Oh, I gotta build it. Okay, I'm not really good at building stuff. Cause I used to build a tree, a birdhouse when I was eleven, so yeah. Let's see. Okay, um. This is gonna take me a few minutes. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, it took me like 10 seconds to do. Like, to build the sand. Now, yes. All he includes. He comes with a stand. And he also comes with two. Um. Kendo sticks. Now, yes, the sand comes in four pieces you got the stand the little um display thing and the little hangers so yeah um let's look at the figure now yes here he is out of the box um i don't know why they did not paint the wrist but i guess they didn't have time he got the needle mover shirt on his man bun samurai jack style. Now, let's look at the stand. Okay, I thought I paused it. So, here's the stand. Now, here's one kendo stick. It's just bent. See? And here's the other one. It's slightly bent, but you can't really fix it. So, the last scene that y'all watched was two minutes 57 seconds of the unboxing. So, there's the little stand. It 
has the little Acknowledge Me logo on it. And yes, you can set the little Kendo sticks on it. I don't know what's Roman Reigns' obsession with Kendo sticks, but I guess he just used them for to um, injure his opponents. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get to the review in three, two, one. This unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Now, yes, I love these uh little figurines. They're only seven dollars eighty four cents a piece at Walmart. Um, they don't have series two in yet. Uh, but I am going to get the Rock maybe some point by September if they don't sell them out at walmart so anyway guys like comment subscribe okay guys so yes this is my second bendy plushie and yes this is series two real world bendy plush they did have boris or the other character um Yes, I picked this one up at the same Walmart I was at in another city because this one I'm at right now does not have these plushies in. Um, And yes, I know it's been three months since I did a plushie review on a Bendy in the Ink Machine plush toy. Yes, it was Alice Angel, and that was like three months ago. By the way, it was my third plushie. And yes, I got a second clip I'm going to show you guys. I filmed this at a Walmart that was next to a Burger King, which I thought would be pretty funny to show you guys. But first, let's review the plushie. Now, yes, the plushie does not have the stitches in the eyes, nor the mouth, nor the gloves. It's just printed on. Now, let's go ahead and take the tag off in three, two, one. Here's the tag. Not really. It feels like. Hard cardboard like this one. Here's the Jack Pacific tag and the Bindi tag. So yeah, um, this is series two. Uh, series two just released not that long ago. See, series one just released like towards the end of April, and I thought I would get this because you know. I really want a second Bendy plush, which again is my second Bendy plush. Anyway, guys, uh, let's show the next clip in three, two, one. Here is this scene I filmed yesterday in a different city. Yes, I pick up the Bendy that y'all saw me review just now. Uh, at a different Walmart, a Super Center Walmart. Yes, uh, he is looking at a Burger King because he can't get any. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe.